वेलकम टू द सेशन अनडैम्प्ड फ्री वाइब्रेशन माई सेल्फ मिस्टर चेतन जी कोनापुर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वर्ल्ड चेंज इंस्टीट्यूट टेक्नोलॉजी सोनापुर लेट्स सी द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू आइडियलाइज द स्ट्रक्चर एज अनडैम्प्ड फ्री वाइब्रेशन सिस्टम देन दे कैन ड्रॉ प्री बॉडी डायग्राम ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू राइट द इक्वेशन ऑफ मोशन फॉर अनडैम्प फ्री वाइब्रेशन सिस्टम now let us see what is mean by free vibration system now one example is shown here the uh, example of simple pendulum so this is in its extensible string and the mass is lump so uh, this is the vertical line which is represented in neutral position of the pendulum now whenever the initial displacement is given to this pendulum it will start to oscillate so during vibration of this pendulum no force is acting that's why it is called as free vibration but for free vibration initial displacement is required to be given so this is free vibration system now what is idealization of the structure now all the structures or real physical system is a continuous system having distributed mass and elasticity so following are the assumptions for idealization of the building or structure now for a building in a story total mass of story is concentrated at its floor level this is the first assumption made means this is lump mass system now girders or beams in a building are infinitely rigid that is the second assumption made in the idealization and third is effect of axial forces are neglected it may be in beam or it uh, may be in column all if, uh, effects of axial forces are neglected now the second assumption girders in a building are infinitely rigid this is made uh, because axial deformation of girder are not considered here that's why if uh, the girders are infinitely rigid then uh, there will not be any axial deformation in the girder now this is real life uh, structure this is a single story frame so in this frame Uh, the mass of this story is lumped at floor level this is the first assumption then girder is infinitely rigid means this girder is infinitely rigid that's why there will not be any actual con contraction or expansion that's why both the columns will deflect or deform with the same profile so why is the displacement which will remain same for both the columns so the total displacement y is shared by these two columns that's why this second assumption is made now third is effect of axial forces are neglected so axial forces are neglected means the axial deformation of the column that is not considered that is also neglected that's why the deflected profile of the column will remain same for both these two columns now this single story building is converted into the lump mass system the entire mass is now lump here k is the stiffness which is representing these two columns y is the displacement at top of this system now this lumped mass system is converted into the conceptual model this is also called as wagon wheel model so this mass is wagon wheel it is connected to the base by means of the spring so spring is uh, representing the stiffness of columns okay so single story frame is lumped mass system and again it is conceptually model in this way so in this figure 2 the single story frame idealized as a single degree of freedom system mass is only one that's why it is single degree of freedom system now let us solve this uh, single degree of freedom system this is the y displacement direction of displacement is shown here now this model we want to uh, solve first we have to go for uh, drawing a free body diagram isolate the body from all point of contact no point of contact is the spring so that is isolated from the base mark the forces at respective point of contact now this is the elastic force uh, which is representing uh, the spring that elastic force is uh, denoted by ky y is the displacement so free body diagram is ready one more force is shown here which is opposite to direction of displacement and this force is inertia force okay now here you can see the different uh, dynamic uh, quantities first y displacement of the mass y dot velocity of the mass 
y double dot acceleration of mass now these terms are used for denotion uh, for denoting all these three dynamic parameters now how this inertia force is quantified because elastic force is quantified by ky inertia force its quantification what is the meaning of inertia force uh, just pause the video and uh, write down this uh, expression for this inertia force okay now inertia force always acts opposite to the direction of motion everybody has got the inertial property inertia means the resistance against change in condition it may be rest or motion but any change is happening in the body the resistance is offered that is called as inertia so that force of inertia is always opposite to the direction of displacement or motion second thing is force of inertia is proportional to the acceleration induced in the body so that quantification of inertia force is m into y double dot m is mass of the body and y double dot is the acceleration induced in that body so we can uh, compute or we can uh, uh, calculate the inertia force by m into y double dot but a very specific definition of inertia force actually it is a rate of change of momentum now in inertia force expression uh, when it is m y double dot generally in uh, various uh, systems or cases mass is constant but in some dynamic uh, systems dynamic cases mass is also varying in and acceleration is also varying in that case this definition is more specific so next is elastic force now the columns are representing the stiffness now actually the definition of stiffness is force required to produce unit displacement now these two columns are offering the elastic resistance so that elastic resistance is entirely dependent upon the displacement y so resistance against the deformation is actually elastic resistance or elastic force so it is uh, quantified as k into y so elastic force is generated uh, which basically it is dependent or proportional to displacement of the body y is the displacement k is the stiffness k into y that is elastic resistance now again uh, the dynamic equilibrium of the body is considered in this figure 3b inertia force is marked that is my double dot elastic force is also shown ky now we can apply the summation fx is equal to 0 for this dynamic body now the dynamic body and the all forces are marked on this dynamic body so so both these forces are to it, uh, towards left so that's why the sign is minus my double dot minus ky is equal to 0 so equilibrium of the body in the dynamic is uh, maintained and the equation is my double dot plus ky is equal to 0 okay now the equation is rearranged and uh, the number uh, number is given one so this is the differential equation for undamped free vibration system so even this is mathematical model of the single story building which is which was idealized as a single degree of freedom system so whenever we observe this equation we can uh, say that the equation is representing mathematically for undamped free vibration system now what is the differential equation it is what is the type of this differential equation the order of this equation is uh, second you can see here this acceleration quantity which is present in this equation uh, so m y double dot this is second order uh, term which is present in this equation you can uh, see here next is the elastic resistance summation of inertia force and elastic resistance in the body that is maintaining the equilibrium this is the meaning of this equation now right hand side of this equation is zero that's why the type of differential equation is homogeneous equation now the order of the equation is two and the right hand side is zero that's why it is homogeneous so this differential equation is second order linear homogeneous equation so the single story frame single story building is conceptually idealized as a wagon wheel model then mathematically uh, it is idealized by this equation so 
this second order equation homogeneous equation will be solved with the several methods and y displacement is determined for that system which is the displacement of the structure these are the references which are uh, used for the above session thank you